Hey guys, so, um, welcome to my channel, Earth Angel. I wanted to share a quick tip. I make jump rings for chains that I create. To give you an example of what those chains look like, they look like this. So these are like double linked copper cane, copper link chains. And before I was cutting each link individually by hand using some pretty strong pliers and I would cut it and open it and then close it to connect it. And you can see examples of that on my Instagram at Earth Angel Hills. And um, it was okay, but it was very, 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 very time consuming. It would take hours to make one chain. And a lot of people who like these chains like them to be a, like 28 inches long and not like I mean of course the women or some men like shorter chains but I was making long chains and it was taking a very long time so I needed a solution and a friend reminded me of how you can just saw your um, copper coils in order to make the chains so I use this saw it's called Euro tool um, I got it from a local craft store that sells jewelry supplies and you have to put uh, blades in it yourself. You open it up and you can close it. Um, the blades that I'm using right now are pretty good. I also got, them, I also got them from that same store, but I took a look around so that I could find a stronger blade. And I found these Pike Jeweler saw blades. Well, actually it's not that I was looking for a stronger blade. I just needed more cause I keep breaking them eventually they break but once you learn the proper technique of how to saw they don't break as quickly so this package came um these are swiss blades when you're sawing ideally you want to use swiss blades and that's what most people prefer or recommend so these look a little different than the blades that i'm already using i can already tell they might be a little stronger so i'm excited to um, open them up and try them out today but I wanted to show you with one of my, when I was um, cutting these coils by hand before, the finish wouldn't close all the way. It would look like this. And so I would have to go back and cut that again, just so I can get like a more even close because I'm precise and I won't just leave it like that. So when you have flush cutters, one side is flat and it can cut it can make a nice flat cut. So now it's flat and, but I was like going through each link to get a flatter close and it's still not all that. Um, this camera won't focus on my phone. But this is what it looks like when you saw it. It's so, it's so flat, like it's perfect almost. So all you have to do with these is open and close it. So you saw it, you saw your your uh, round of, uh, you saw your copper coil that looks like this. You saw it and then you get a bunch of perfect jump rings. I'm gonna start selling these jump rings in bulk for those who don't have the time or patience or even know how to make them. And you could make cool chains like this. But yes, I will be trying these blades out today and I think they will be a great addition because um, I saw that they had really great reviews so I'm excited so that I can make a whole bunch of chains and hopefully um, sell them to other others online in bulk for people who have stores or just individuals who want to wear them themselves but yes my main point of this video was letting you know that you should invest in a jeweler saw and some nice blades for your jeweler saw so that you can make your bulk cutting projects a lot easier than using flush cutters by hand. But it's always good to learn the simplest way and the most old school way to do things. It's always good to learn those things so that your brain can become more creative and think of ways to make your life easier. Thanks for watching.